Rapid developments in a range of technologies are really transforming the way we live and work, creating new opportunities and new challenges. And with that transformation, it's a critical time to consider how artificial intelligence will affect the federal government and the role we each play in these changes. AI has been around since the 1950s. We've had very brilliant people doing thought experiments about creating artificial brains from a very early time. What's really changed is computers and the hardware have gotten a lot better. There's things that people wanted to do in the 70s or 50s, all of those, that they weren't able to do because of the processing power. So graphical processing units, that has been a game changer for some of the types of things that we're doing because that is allowed for a lot more data to be processed and flowed through. Artificial intelligence has great potential to improve our lives, and particularly in the federal government. It could increase operational efficiency, free employees from repetitive tasks, uncover new data insights, and enhance service delivery to customers. Artificial intelligence is a broad field, um, and it really talks about any technique where we can attempt to model human behavior with a machine. And so on the AI journey, there's a couple ways to do this, right? You could take the top-down approach, which is kind of what the DOD has done at the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center. Second approach is you go bottom up, right? You start small uh, with use cases, you demonstrate success, and then hopefully that grows the capabilities along with the culture, and you can transition into an agency that's leaning into artificial intelligence. So where is it right now that it's kind of what we're calling that Goldilocks zone is identifying people on objects and images, translating speech or text from one language to another, detecting fraud and other anonymous behaviors. This one may be a little bit more controversial, but autonomous vehicles. So thinking about that for your work is actually a good concept to kind of remind you is understand the parameters of what you're okay with for the work that you're doing. I can't tell you how many times we get asked and said, okay, I wanna do AI. And so our first question is to do what? And then they're like, no, no, I want to do AI. And so a lot of that is putting the cart before the horse. And so really thinking about what it is that your problem is. What do you want to solve? What do you want to do better? What do you want to look at that is a critical, critical component because there's a lot of times that people just want to deploy the technology, but they don't actually understand what's the outcome that you actually want to get to. The world of AI is rapidly evolving. Agencies will have a range of talent. Some will be well positioned to this transition, while others may benefit from reskilling to adapt to the changing needs. There may be those who don't trust these technologies, and government will have to address those concerns as well. Integrating these technologies requires moving forward, even while we manage some of the challenges and potential changes along the way.